Welcome to the Insomnia Project. Sit back, relax, and listen as we have a calm conversation about a mundane topic so that you can just drift off. You don't have to worry because it's not going to go anywhere in particular. And hopefully, you can find yourself to sleep. Thank you for listening. I'm your host, Marco Timpano. And I'm Amanda Barker. Here I am. And I think I said find yourself to sleep, which doesn't quite make sense, but I think you understand where I was going with that. Mm -hmm. Amanda, Mm. you recently purchased a small backpack. Oh, we're getting into that, are we? Yes. And I want to know what made you get a backpack when you already have a backpack and what you were looking for in this backpack. I want to make sure I'm not mowing the same lawn. Okay. Did I talk about this backpack already? You may have started to talk about it, but we didn't go into a deep dive. All right. So this particular backpack... I researched the requirements of flight, carry-on, not carry-on luggage, but actual personal item, what they call a bag or personal item on various um, flights. Um, And they have measurements usually on most airlines. If you dig deep enough, you'll find the exact measurements of what you are allowed to take on as a carry-on and what you're allowed to take on as a personal item. And certain airlines have different size requirements, yeah. right, Amanda? That's right. And so I researched, we have a few flights coming up, um, and they tend to be cheaper airlines. So they're going to be airlines that are probably a little bit more stringent because people want to pay a low fare and then get away with as much as they can. Sure. Is, is usually what happens. So, um, and, they, and they're less likely to let you because that's how they can make some extra money. Of course. Because they sold the fares for cheap. So um, it's on us as the consumer to really research what is it I can and can't bring on just to avoid any kind of conflict on the day and to know that you're traveling peacefully and that you're already within the envelope of what they want you to be. Of course. So um, the backpack I currently have been using is a bit bigger and I love it, but it's better for bigger things. So and it's I'm... a cast off backpack because I had bought that backpack mm, mm-hmm. and it didn't work for me. Right. And I was going to donate it to one of your, um, what are they called? Clothing swaps. Clothing swaps. Were and you really? I was. Yeah, I think I had it in a pile of like I don't need this anymore. Wow, you're, you're it's like, a valuable bag. It's quite a nice backpack. Yeah, and it wasn't. I mean, it, but that's the point of clothing swaps. If you don't need it, it wasn't an inexpensive backpack. And you were like, I think I like this, and I'm like, Oh, I hope you do. And you love that backpack. Yeah, I've really, um, really enjoyed it. Um, but it was a bit bigger than the one it replaced. Right. And so for me, I will stuff a thing. So. It's better for me, like I said, to have an, a smaller envelope because if I'm going to fill the envelope, I want it to be within the um, restraints or confines of what they weight-wise, measurement-wise, and so on. And when you say envelope, you mean the backpack itself? Yeah, the 15 inches by 33 I inches see. by 29 inches or whatever it is. It's usually within those. I've looked at enough. It's usually within those. And if you ever go to the airport, some airlines will have like a metal That's right. a, a metal guide that they'll yeah. ask you to put your backpack in to ensure that it meets the requirement of the measurement for that particular airline. Mm-hmm. And some people have had the experience where they've been in that lineup and they haven't had to use that. Right. And others have been in that experience where they absolutely have to use that. But for me, I want to know as I leave my house that if I have to use it, I'm still perfectly safe and that nobody's going to try to charge me more sure, or have sure. a difficult conversation. Of course, of course. So I researched the the measurements from the three different airlines that were flying just to have a good sense of, okay, what what are the through lines? And generally speaking, like I said, it's 15 inches by 29 inches by 33 inches, give or take on either end. But oh, that's generally what it is. Good on you for remembering that. I can't believe I remember that because I don't remember numbers. But I really – that just shows you that I really did cross-reference it. In it, fact. Sh- it should be mentioned that Amanda's great at doing research when it comes to any – Travel endeavor. It's true. It's true. If it deals with travel, Amanda will take joy in doing the research on it. If it it. was a door frame or something, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Right. But if it, I guess it's just if it's something that I'm truly passionate about and interested in. So 
I cross-referenced uh, a few different airlines. And uh, in my case, the ones I was looking at were Flair, WestJet, and I think Air Canada. Lynx, wasn't that one of them? That might have been one of them, too, okay. yeah. And um, so I, I looked at all of them and uh, thought, okay, if I can find one within those measurements, I'll buy it. And I bought it online because, uh, you know, it's fairly easy. to. You just have to look at the measurements. Sure. But you still don't have the feel of the backpack and you might not have all the photos. So it's that part's challenging. It came down to two backpacks, if I'm not mistaken, you're, that you were looking you're at. You're very right. And then I said, look at the reviews. Because mm-hmm. for me... Oftentimes, the reviews will reveal things that you might not love about some an item you're looking at, or right. it'll it'll shine a beacon of light on something that works for you. Even if it's people complaining about a certain thing, you can go, okay, well, that I don't have a problem with. Sure. Or vice versa. So for me, once I had the measurements down, it was probably down to like eight to ten backpacks. Oh, I didn't realize that many. Yeah. And so the things that... I just kept going, okay, what is it that I need and want? I need and want uh, a place to put my computer. Not that, all of them. Some These are smaller backpacks, so not all of them had that. So after size, which was what you were first looking at, yeah. that was the next key component or important item for you. And when you. I say a place to put my computer, I mean a designated compartment that has um, – some, uh, what's the word for it? Buffering so, like that. Like an extra foam. sort of, sure, padding or something. Yeah, that, that, that's clearly meant for that anyway. So that was the first order of business for me. Great. Because uh, I like to have my computer and I now have a nice case for my um, tablet that I use to watch. For me, traveling with a tablet is essential because I use it both as a book and as a TV device. And I should say that you can get a tablet for relatively inexpensive this these one days. This was very cheap. Especially if you're not looking for a brand name. Yeah. If you're like, I'm just looking for a tablet just to serve a purpose, you can find them for relatively inexpensive compared to all the name brands. See, I used to have quite an expensive one. Yes. And I really only used it for Netflix on the plane, if I'm being honest. Sure. So with this one, it serves that purpose. And I, you know, don't really use it for anything other than basic things. I use my phone and computer more for the more processing kind of stuff. So did this number one or this second point of item that you wanted to focus on, did it rule out some of the backpacks you were looking at? It did. It ruled out the very first one that I was looking at, which I thought was, oh, this is perfect. Right. It had bungee cord around it, which I thought was kind of interesting because you can kind of do a lot of things with that. Sure. It wasn't, it was made for more, you know, a day trip when you're camping. I see. It's less of a get it on the plane kind of thing. So anyways, it did rule out a few. And then the next thing I looked for actually were was compartments on the side where I could safely put a water bottle. That to me is really important because I never, ever like to be without water. In particular when you're traveling. E- generally. Sure. I, if you know me, I... I'm constantly drinking water or something, but if nothing else, I'm constantly drinking water. I've always been that person. Sure. Since I was a kid and when I was a baby, I drank so much. They, they, my mom was uh, concerned, I guess. Sure. She doesn't drink as much water as I do. She does now, but I'm just a, I'm just a kid who naturally was always thirsty. Fair enough. um, So I always want to make sure that I have. A designated spot. Yeah, because I've I've wrecked too many things with water bottles that opened and sure. side and so on. So just having that designated side pocket, I don't need it on both sides, but the one I got eventually does have it on both sides. But they're good for other things, too. They're a great place to stash a hair tie or a hair elastic or hair socks. band, depending where you're from. I mean, could do socks. Um yeah, anyway. Sure. Uh, masks, squishy things tend to go well in there. Masks are good. Things like hand sanitizers and lip balm, I like having my own little compartment for Okay. in the backpack. So that was the next thing. What backpack? So that ruled down a few more. So I went from 10 to, say, 8. Okay. Then uh, 10 to 8 with the computer piece and then maybe to 6. Sure. I think 5 or 6 anyway. 
in terms of the water bottle thing. Then I like to have an outside pocket that I can easily access on a plane or any transport that I know exactly if I reach in in the dark or in a cramped space. Sure. I know exactly where my headphones are, oh. my lip balm is, my um, hand sanitizer. Your eye mask. My, Eye masks right. for sleeping. I think we've talked about and that. And she always has one for me, folks. I do. I actually always keep three because I'm afraid one of us will lose one on a plane and then we'll be stuck with one. So I always one have time three. We were on a plane and someone tried to take it, but that's another story. I feel like we talked about that we before, did. didn't we? We did, yeah. yeah. Uh, and my headphones, which is important for both the tablet so that sure. I can watch whatever series I want to watch or movie I want to watch. Um, or for my phone so now it's two different sets of headphones of course uh and my phone uh, very important i always make sure that i have my playlist ready to go which is just the same 22 minute or 26 minute i think it's 22 i'd have to look track um repeated uh 10 times many people have reached out to me to tell them tell me that they use a specific episode yeah for planes of mm -hmm. our show, of our podcast. That's wonderful. The towel episode recently came up. Someone said oh. they used the towel episode. Amazing. Yeah. Who was on that? I yeah. think it was Nitty. I think it was Nitty too. Yeah. That's what I was asking. But then mm -hmm. I thought maybe it was Nima. No, no. Nima and I talked about cigars. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. He loves cigars. He does. Um, so for me, mm -hmm. um, there's a few things I listen to, to to sleep on the plane. But one thing that I tend to go to or, or go between is... Um, it's recordings. Lou Reed did recordings under the Hudson Bridge, uh, specifically for meditation. I see. And it's slowed down. So I listened to that. Wonderful. It, yeah. Um, because it mimics the sound of a plane. I see. Which I find very relaxing. Not everybody does. but Fair enough. Does. Fair enough. So um, I have that ready to go, and I make sure I have it all out perfectly. Um, so there were a few backpacks that didn't have that outside pocket. So then I had ruled to them out. ruled those ones out. So now we're probably down to the final three or four. And then it became what were the designated pieces and pockets inside. And also colors. I decided I wanted something brightly colored so that if I ever misplace it or lose it, um, it was easier to find. So did you roll, rule out like blacks and I did yeah which is interesting because that's what I've had in the past and it they certainly hide dirt of course sure but I just wanted something colorful and I wanted something that would never get missed so I picked a mustard yellow backpack and it was between a mustard yellow and a light light gray I think so of this of this particular one but and then the, the final two there was a brown one too but I ruled out the brown one what was it about the brown one that didn't speak to you trying to remember i think it didn't i didn't like the outside pocket okay as much and it didn't quite hold the same amount of stuff and it had um slightly worse reviews i see this one seemed to have a few extra pockets and had a deeper outside pocket so all those things i've just listed i knew would ha would be able to fit in there plus you know phone, passport, a few other things. And this backpack is going to be where I put my clothes, where I put my toothbrush, my makeup, sure, um, face stuff. So it has to be able to hold that. I mean, I'll minimize it all a lot. Of course. Um, but still, you want to be able to roll up a pair of leggings, some underwear, socks. Sure. Uh, you know, a, a light sweater or something breezy. And you wear your more hardcore stuff on the plane and hope for the best. This is for short trips, of course. Yeah. Well, of which we have a few. So, up. Amanda, was there a review of mm. this yellow backpack that you ended up purchasing? Was there a negative review that you were able to say, oh, that doesn't bother me? There was one thing. Um, a couple people said one more pocket would be ideal. Sure. And I have to agree with that. I wish it had one more pocket. Mm -hmm. Um. But for what I looked at for the size, which was to me the most important thing, everything else was right. And then the other thing was the straps were thin. I see. So, um, and I think that might have been for the other backpack. But then I looked at this one and the straps I think are just as thin, I think. Okay. And how does that 
Well, you want fatter straps to kind of hold a bit more weight. Sure. But I think they're fine for what it for the amount of time it's going to be on my back. And it's really lightweight kind of parachutey material, which I, see. I appreciate. Now, were there positive things in the review that you were like, oh, I didn't know I wanted that, but I'm glad it has that? I'm trying to think. See if you can jog my mind. My last, I had a backpack going for a while that had one of those contraptions where, like, you could plug in your phone inside the backpack or, like, thread your headphones through. But the truth is I found it to be... More trouble than it's worth? Yeah. I mean, it's not like it comes with a charger. You just right. have to... You can put a charger in there, I think, is what it was. So it was kind of like, well, this doesn't really... Do it for it you. It made it... F the, uh, the That one was a departure from the usual company I order from. And I got excited. I saw one of those little videos. Right, of course. And so I thought, I can charge my phone in my backpack? What are you talking about? And then when I got it, I was like, oh, it's just like some holes. Right. So it's not really... Yeah. I think one of the reviews said it was waterproof, the one you bought. Oh, yes. Very waterproof. And because I always have a bottle of water on the side there, that was super important to me. You're right. I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah, that's what It one is of... very waterproof. Oh, have you tried it? Uh, I can tell. It, like okay. I said, the, the material is a really lightweight, parachute-y kind, kind of, of material. Can uh, canvas -y almost. Like, sure. It's not woven. It's a very lightweight mm -hmm. synthetic and then, material. Was it comfortable when you actually, when you received it? First of all, when you received it, were you happy? Was the box, was it packaged nicely or was it, mm, was, did anything really. strike you? Okay. No, I got shoes a few days later that were packaged beautifully. I see. Like the packaging was a work of art. And they too are waterproof and they too are very lightweight. So kind of went on a lightweight waterproof bender, I guess, Journey. last week. Yeah. Is it comfortable when you've put the backpack on? It is, but I haven't fully filled it up. But certainly for my little day trips, it's been great. Fantastic. So I want to ask you about backpacks. Sure. So you have a blue one you've been using nonstop. Why that one? Okay, so that's thank you for asking me. So first of all, I purchased that expensive backpack that didn't work for me that you now use, which is a more extensive or larger. And why didn't it work for you? Because it was big. Is that why? It was, it was bigger. It was. You have to really reach into the backpack. It's a really deep backpack. Yeah, it's a bit longer. And it doesn't have like zippers on the side where you can like, like I, I, I always found it difficult to access everything in it. It's a good traveling backpack. It's not necessarily meant for everyday things. It's also not for the organized type of person. It feels like the type of backpack where you just put what you want in it and let it sort itself out inside the backpack. <laughs> and and I didn't love that part okay. of it. I don't find that. But but I, it's funny when you say that. That's how I remember that backpack. Mm -hmm. But then I got to know it and have a relationship with that one. Sure. And I don't feel that way at all about, about her. I liked the Which color. Maybe she took some getting to know. Maybe. I liked the color. Mm -hmm. I liked sort how it... Sort of a light gray tan. Yeah, almost almost an olive green, if you will, in there. <laughs> it's like four different colors, but it is actually all of those things. Yeah. And doesn't it have orange specks? Like orange, there's a couple of spots. Like I think the inside of it. I you, think so, yeah. yeah. And it's very comfortable to wear. Every, it's very comfortable to wear. Everything about it should say that was the backpack for me, mm -hmm. and it wasn't. Mm -hmm. So now you have it, and I'm so happy that you have it because I feel like I almost bought it for you. And I ended up going to Costco and just getting. Oh, is that where you got? Yeah, that just one? like an inexpensive one. I was like, I'm just gonna get an inexpensive one. And what was key for me was, like you, the space for my computer that's padded. Yeah. And I wanted compartments, mm -hmm. little compartments all over the place where I could put things in. And I, I particularly like one aspect of that backpack that I, it's one of those things where you don't realize you want it and then you get it and you've used it. Yeah. And it's a little, uh, you know, like a, what do you call the seatbelt things that you click together? Yeah, that thing in the front, the harness kind of thing. In the no, front. but it's, it's not even that. It's inside. I, I don't even think I've shown it to you, but it's like oh. a little click, like two pieces that click together. Yeah. One that's attached to the backpack and one that clicks away that has a circle key ring on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so what happens is you take that key ring, you put it on your keys, 
And when you leave home and you don't need your keys anymore, you click it to the inside of the backpack oh, wow. so that the keys are now attached to I your didn't backpack. Know that, that that happens with that one. Yeah, and you know where your keys are, and they're not going to get loose because they're actually clicked into the backpack on the inside in a pocket that you don't use. Mm-hmm. So when we go away, I just put our house keys on that, click it. I know where they are. Right. When we come home, I unclick it, and it's ready to go. Right. Um, and that was a feature I didn't realize that backpack had mm-hmm. that I really appreciated. And then for me, the color, too, I like a backpack that you can spot from wherever. Yeah. Um, versus, you know, a lot of the black and dark gray backpacks kind of bleed all into one. Sort of like luggage. You know how so right. many people's luggages right. are black or what's, what's another very common color of back of, of luggage? Of luggage? Yeah. Uh, I mean, black is the most right. common. Um, probably gray. Gray. Yeah. And so we used to have luggage that was a champagne color. And what I loved about it oh, yeah. was when they would come off the carousel, you would spot your luggage yeah. from... So far away because it was the only champagne color luggage that was there. Turns out that luggage wasn't great. We had a lot of issues with it breaking down. So Uh, yeah, we also we also put it through a lot. Yeah, it lasted. It lasted. We're people that you lose our. I mean, some people buy luggage and they use it once a year, maybe. Right. And I mean, more recently we've been like that, but generally speaking, we're not those people. Right. So I need a backpack that actually holds up to that, Amanda. Like that can take a little bit of yeah rugged wear and whatnot like when i put it under the seat Mm -hmm. in front of me if i'm on a plane or say a train it's gotta it's gotta hold up to my kicking it and me pushing it in there and and, yeah and whatnot yeah and so that was important so this backpack this this blue one that you mentioned um is a hardy backpack but it doesn't have too many features to it so it's Mm -hmm. pretty simple it wasn't expensive but it's a decent make and the padding of the strap is quite comfortable as well. Yeah, that's one thing I wish my new one had a little bit better padding on the straps. Mm-hmm. It's just made for more everyday use. So I think that the, I, I don't know why, but I think they were thinking, well, people aren't going to fill this full of stuff. And sure. It's not going to hold as much. But even still, you might want something that, that can support that, even if you only do that once in a while. I, I think it'll stand up, though. We'll have to see when I actually fill it full of stuff. I've done a little trial, a couple trial runs with it. Oh, well, it'll be exciting to see how it fares. I know. I mean, the most important thing for me was that I will put it on my back and nobody can tell me that that doesn't belong in my lap or under the seat. No one will say, that's too big for our requirements. Now, didn't you have a backpack once that had an extra bag for yoga clothes to put it in or wet clothes or bathing suit? Actually, your one that you gave me has that. I don't even think you know that. Oh, mine had... Yeah, there's there's a... Special compartment. There's a so the bottom part has a whole part where you can zip it and it's its own thing. Right. But a secret part of it is that because that bag has a lot of compartments. This is the one that I gave to Amanda because I it didn't work for me. But it's it's a great bag. It has so many compartments, but um, it has a bottom part that you can unzip, and there's an orange bag in there. And you can take it out and I believe put all your like dirty clothes or wet clothes into it and then shove it back or just if it's too big, then put it in the bag because it's a very tiny little pocket that has right. this orange bag. Um, but yeah, I also had one, the the one I had for a long, long time, it had a compartment at the bottom, which you'd unzip it and it would make a little pouch. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. And then the top, what you do is you put your rolled yoga mat. So that it would rest in the pouch, if you can imagine, if you're if you're if you're perching it sort of uh, lengthwise. Picture it like a kangaroo's pouch. Sure, but in the back. Right. But on my back, and so you put your baby yoga mat sort of standing up on the bottom part of the pouch, and of course it's gonna wobble around because the pouch is fairly shallow. Sure. So then you take the um, top part. Well, you take the um, those harness straps and you strap it in so that it's strapped into the rest, but it has that extra part because the pouch is kind of really securing it. Sure. Um, so that was that was that one. Yeah, that one was great. I and you know I 
like I said, I use my backpacks. I mean, that particular one, my gosh, that thing went everywhere with me. And that would have been, was that the same backpack? No, what happened was it the zipper busted and then I got a new one, I think. Or I got the zipper replaced. I can't remember. I think what happened with that backpack was you got you brought it to the place where you purchased it. They replaced the zipper. Yeah. Then the zipper broke again. Yeah. And you brought it to them and they said, we no longer make this zipper. I think you're right. So we'll give you a new backpack. And you were like, no, I love this backpack. So you took it to a, like a seamstress type place. Okay. That did zippers, like industrial right. zippers or, or zippers. And they put a brand new zipper in it. Right. And that lasted only so long. And then you took it back to the company. Right. And they were like, we don't have this zipper or this backpack. We will give you a new backpack because they guaranteed their backpacks. And then I used the new backpack? For a while. I don't think you loved because the new backpack. Because this original one that I'm talking about, I had it. I mean, that was when I did yoga training. So that's 2009. Mm-hmm. And then I was traveling with it. That started like my hardcore every week traveling was right. like 2012. Into 2015. So that was when I needed a backpack every moment of my right, life kind right. of thing. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, it, it certainly went on a journey with you. It certainly took a beat. I mean, I remember saying it doesn't owe me anything. Right. I've taken it everywhere. I've, I've used it till it's threadbare. There you go. Well, listeners, you don't owe us anything. <laughs> Thank you for taking this journey on the backpack episode. Let us know if you have any things you need in your backpack. And hopefully, you're not even listening at this point. And if you are, well, thank you for taking this journey with us. We hope you enjoyed it. From our studio in Toronto, we hope you were able to listen and sleep. <laughs>